All right, so, okay, Chad, let's talk about one uh, thing real quick. So, let's go. Let's talk. This is some serious, some serious stuff. So, let's talk about. Um, first, uh, 2021. Is it going to be a good year? Absolutely fucking not. Do I think it's going to be a fantastic year? <sighs> Fuck no. Um, I'm gonna give you like a quick heads up, like what's going on. Um, well, not me, but a lot of YouTubers actually. So again, the title says I'm not quitting, but it's just like it's still a long ass talk I have to talk about. So I would say right now, hold up a second. <coughs> so no, I don't have the corona. So first of all, first off. There's YouTubers today that, if you them, that has been, you know, upload video saying that um, they're gonna quit or taking a break from YouTube itself. Example, I is Cupcake, uh, Wasabi, all these types of YouTubers. Um, they have been taking a break from YouTube. And you probably be like, oh, then why does it concern you? So uh, let's talk about like YouTube itself as you know, as your example as me. For me, basically, for the eyes, you know, for the eyes of a bigger YouTubers. Being a YouTuber, it means that you have to be 100% concerned with, you know, with your, with your channel, basically. This means you have to be, you know, 100% active with the community, asking what they want, you know, feeling the needs of the everybody etc but in the face of our normal responsibility yeah but in the face of our you know s content creator like smaller ones like me or other people you have to figure out that you know YouTube in last year and this year is one of them obviously 2020 is one of the most fucked up years and the most stupid bullshit years not because of the virus but also because don't don't worry don't don't say sorry it's okay, brother. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not screaming at you if you're asking me off your knee. Don't worry about it. But yeah, 2020, it's one of the worst years we ever have. Well, I ever have, actually. But what the title means about YouTube itself. Again, some YouTubers, famous YouTubers, obviously Cupquake, Wasabi, has been leaving, actually. Taking a break from YouTube. Because... Well, I haven't seen the videos, but I can probably tell because you get burned out easily. You bur you get burned out. And to be honest, YouTube itself is not a great, you know, a good. For my point of view, YouTube. If I'm not a YouTuber, YouTube for me, it's one of the most, it's one of those websites where. But what the whole point you're talking about? It's YouTube itself. YouTube itself. Because YouTube itself. For me, in my eyes, point of view, it's a controversial, you know, website. There's no new, new, no new things to do on YouTube. Everybody steals videos. There's no new ideas. Everything's just like copy and paste. It's a problem. No, I guess not. But it is a problem when people are seeing same videos and say like, say that shit. I think yeah. Now let's talk about the controversy of Minecraft community itself. So if you guys know, I don't want to involve myself into drama, but if you guys know, yesterday, or I think two days ago, I don't forgot. Carson has been accused allegations of talking, sending nudes to a minor. If you guys know that new, call me Carson. If you, if you don't know that news, then I'm just gonna give a quick heads up. Call me Carson. Has been accused for allegations of sending nudes to underage fans. And um, you're probably thinking, what's the what's the deal with the Minecraft community? It's I'm gonna say this. I like Minecraft. You already know my channel is Minecraft. But in the community itself, it's slowly going to diverse and going, going, but. Going to the dark mode. What do I mean by this? 
Back in the old days of Minecraft, you know, remember who remembers Lion Maker? All those famous YouTubers and people seen them, but behind the scenes there were pedos. And yes, and yeah, you know, you've and again, my, the Minecraft community itself has been going damaging longer and more and more over the years. Shit, we just hope we don't pray that one of the most OG YouTubers, Captain Sparkles, doesn't get accused. Because if it does. If that happens, then holy shit, the community of Minecraft itself, it's fucking destroyed. And on, on the YouTube side of Minecraft, you can't deny, Minecraft is one of the most influential games that's been going on this recent year. Even when the release of Fortnite, Minecraft is still one of the most searched games. Well, not most, but still. But... But... Look, but again... Why just a game play play with do something fucked up? Skyless Minecraft was not cancelled because Skyless Minecraft is one of those persons with bad things happened to him. with first with uh her first girlfriend, I forgot, Donovals, then Elisa, then the district with KSI. The Minecraft community it's going downhills. Sure, you can probably tell that not him personally. I know his personal life was fucked. Yeah. And again, you can probably tell that, you know, 2015 is where those OG YouTubers... Now we have, you know, like, Technoblade, Dream... All those YouTubers. But, no, it, he was not cancelled. No, 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 he's not, he's not. But, my point here is that... The Minecraft community will eventually die. And eventually... Go bad. A lot of content creators will go, a lot of people will go into allegations saying that this person said nudes, etc. But, again, why? Why is going this, this route? Sure, I could probably tell people are fucking bored because it's 2020, we're in fucking quarantine. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. But again, I mean, I also got, you know, in the perspective of, of the victims, why do you wait this late? To come out. If this person... Like, why? Why? It's like the same... If you know the controversy with Pyre and Cynical. This person... This person was... A groom, this person was... Quote, unquote... Groom. On 2018. I forgot when was this incident. In 2018. And this person come out in 2020. Why this late? Why? And again, I don't really give a fuck if YouTube itself, it's, you know, the most controversial, controversial, but it's just, what's the whole point? The whole point here is just to talk about the whole scenario of fucking YouTube, man, jeez. I want to talk about everything, man. Things that has been fucked up, things that's, you know, fucking stupid, whatever. First, YouTubers are quit. Are taking YouTubers are taking breaks because they're burning down. There's no good ideas. Minecraft community, the Minecraft community on YouTube, it's going downhill. Yeah, I don't know why to wait to come out, but not only do they go to Twitter first and stuff. Someone, Twitter now. Twitter, Twitter. I personally don't like Twitter. I have to say it. Twitter is one of my leastest social medias. I've I hate it. We'll be in downfall. And start. Minecraft will be in the downfall. And that's right. Dream, the least dream SMP is one of the most, you know, most famous SMPs going out now. And you, he's right. If the dream SMP never existed, then holy shit, the whole entire community will go down. Dramatically. It's not, it's, no, it's me talking about YouTube as well. And again, to be honest, people if just goes on the internet for a bit, life will be better. Well, this summer market will be better with the whole community log away KV updates. Are you sure about that? Again, as a YouTube content creator as Minecraft, I'm expecting that in the near future people will come out saying that I accuse I send nudes and some shit, false allegations. And guess and trust me, you're probably saying, Did you? No. First off, no. But I feel that, you know, people will eventually do that because, one, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. The YouTube community, the micro community itself is going downhills. 
Highs and lows. Yeah. Minecraft example. Again, going back to Minecraft. I'm a Minecraft veteran. I played Minecraft for a long ass time, as I can remember. Jerome Sky for us golden age. And the generation grow older than when I had downhill. Yeah. Bullshit. But again, like, why go? Why you're going after a game that you know people has been seen? Oh shit! Whatever. But yeah, I mean, I don't have no problem with Minecraft. I have no problem whatsoever. The problem here of the society itself is that we're fucking bored. Okay, we're bored. We can't go out to our family. We can't do shit. And if you say that you better stay inside, then you're one of me. But if you're one of those people saying that, you know, quarantine sucks dick, then welcome to my fucking world. Because, you can't deny it. You can't deny it. It's one of the worst years. Minecraft is gonna be one downhill for the biggest. Yeah. And I fear for that. Because, again, Minecraft is one of my... Minecraft, for me, it's one of the most fun games. Because you can play with friends. Sure, you can fucking build shit in there. It's pretty fun. But... Like, what's the need of that? What's the need? Oh. I really, like, I want to see, I want to play a game. But, you know, I don't want to wake up thinking that, you know, I don't want to wake up and see, you know, there's a lot of Twitter saying, Oh, this person plays Minecraft. Like, the fuck? I just... Want to play a game? I want to play the game, knowing that you know nothing bad's gonna happen. But yeah, the game is itself Minecraft. I like it, but with people coming out with saying that type of shit, it's pretty boring. It's pretty fucked up. What happened to old YouTube? Come on. What happened to it? Where is it? Twenty YouTube in 2014, 2015 is legit. You can't deny it. It's one of the golden days for YouTube. It was one of the most fun years, but. Now that the years has been growing up, people have grown up, etc. I can tell. YouTube in this year is... Fuck. It's fucked. I watched the video of everyone in the world playing on the same server. Yeah, there's a lot going down. Minecraft is just a fun game. But Twitter just... Twitter itself, it's one of the most toxic places to be. Why? Number one, people can do whatever the fuck they want. That's like saying you support pedos if you use violent client. The creators of violent are supposed to be pedos. Yeah. But let's talk about all right. Let's stop stop talking about YouTube. I mean, so Minecraft talk about YouTube itself and the social medias. Twitter again. Going back, Twitter itself, it's toxic. If you say that Twitter it's not toxic, then fuck go fuck yourself. You're delusional asshole. You're delu delusional. Delusional. You're fucking delusional. Do Twitter, it's toxic. There's a lot of toxicity in that fucking place. The, 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 the reason why they my Twitter is just, you know, for people to go follow me and that's it. But, legit. I don't do that. I don't actually tweet. And shit, because I told, I said it. I'm saying it again. Twitter is one of my least favorite. Hold up a second. Uh, sorry.
Tú no vas a ir, te vas a quedar aquí. ¿Entendiste? Aprendan a jugar bien. All right, sorry. Yeah, I'm good. But again, Twitter is toxic. It's toxic. I don't like Twitter, but like, again, what happened? 2015, 2014 is one of the best years. 2014 for YouTube is best. 2018, it considers good, I guess. But again, but again, like, what happened to it? Wasn't YouTube supposed to be fun for people? Wasn't? No. People now is coming out saying that this person is a pedo, this person is a pedophile, this person is a rapist. It comes every single time. You can't deny that once, you know, how much so each, each month or each year, there's gotta be at least one story saying that this person is a pedophile, this person is getting sex or harassed, etc. You can't deny it that you heard stories about it. And public figures. It's public figures. Alright? Take that in mind. The butter. Nothing even happened to butter. But going back. I do I think do I think YouTube it's broken? It's fucked? No. Do I think YouTube is pretty boring? In my perspective, yes. It is. I think you should talk about how people talk about old things, like the singer, uh, Joji. Yeah. And you know what? And you know what? I'm one of those people saying this. Even if it's wrong, it's still fucked up. I'm just saying this right now, and it's my personal opinion. Hold up, let me just close my door. Mark my words in this. This is actually gotta be public, this is not gonna be hidden. I'm one of those people that if you do something wrong in the past, you learn from the past, and in the future you try to be a better person. I wanna, I believe, you know, I believe that people, you know, we're humans, we do a lot of bunch of mistakes. And I believe that, you know, we can, you know, we can, um, uh, learn from our mistakes. But if but if people comes out showing saying this person's a rapist, this person's did that. Okay. It's in the past. Why do you need to bring him from the future? You wanna you know, you wanna be someone famous? You wanna know people like bigger YouTubers know this, cover this shit? What the fuck you want? It's in the past. If it is like example, if you're if you've been having like a girlfriend that has been toxic for five years and you come out saying that this per this person's bad then why you wait that long why do you wait but at the same time if you call me now saying that this person is bad all right your choice but again you never know if that person change you never know you really know again going back if you have a girlfriend who was toxic in the past and it's you know the situation has been like five four, example it's 20 um the situation has been over five years. You never know if the person changed. Let's go back to the thing with Miniland. Yes. For me, Miniland should be guilty? Yes. Miniga, again, Miniland, is, uh, Miniland should be guilty? In some part, in yes. Yes. He's guilty of what he did. Does he deserve a second chance? Not. For a lot of people, not. For me, for, in my perspective, it's between. Yes, he deserves a second chance because one, he comes out with apology saying, I know, there's a lot of YouTubers, drama YouTubers saying that, no, his apology is not fucking working some shit. And, okay. But does he deserve? In my perspective, uh, probably. Does he learn by the mistake? I think, I want to think he did. And, you know, again, why does people in this year, in in older years, like 2019, 2018, people doesn't give others a second chance? Like, the fuck? Give others second chances. Jeez. If people did something bad in the past and it's been more than three years, let it go because the toxicity is still there and a couple could. Yes! And again, and going back, like, 
if the situation happened five years or six years, then holy shit. Leave it in the past. You want to bury that? And you want people, you know, again. Example, you talk to a, you talk to somebody. You're been toxic. You're saying to go kill themselves. And it's over five years that situation, but you save, you forgot the person? Good for you. You move on. You learn your mistake. But if later that person comes out saying, this person is bad. You're honestly, you're fucking, you're sucked. You really are bitch. Like, actually. Like, you're actually. You're, you're a complete mar. You're fucking stupid. To be honest. People does bad things in the past? Yes. You can't deny you're saying, no, I never did something in the past. Sh sh shut the fuck up. You did something. Shut the fuck up. You did something. Even if you say you're pure, j just shut the fuck up. Just sh complete shut the fuck up. You're, you're lying. People does sin. Trust me. If I go make a poll and ask, do you make something bad in the past? How much of people is going to say no? And there's got to be a lot of people saying yes. But here's my question now. By the thing you did in the past, do you regret it? Do you want to forget? How much of people will say yes? And that's the thing. Why people cannot forget easily something? Like, I just want to know. Why? Please. Just. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, fuck. I th oh, shit. I should have. Yeah. Wait, what? 69. He's been just wondering on the top of YouTube. Do you think a game I'm making will do anything? Get shit. It's always it's the same it's the same cycle every single time. When a game comes out, it's gotta be a fan base saying they like the game, but then people doesn't there gotta be another fan base saying that the game is shit. It will be shit. So, if you want to release it on YouTube, let me just rem remind you that here, it's fucking toxic. Toxicity, oh, it's gonna be. Your game will be likely? I really personally do not know. So, don't get your hopes, your, your hopes high, bruh. I'm just saying that to you. Something stay. But, I'm just gonna say this right now. Now, even though the title says not quitting, now let's talk about, you know, my perspective of playing YouTube. Am I going to quit in the near future? Yes. If things don't get good, I'm certainly going to take a break like Corey Kenshin. Because, one, this person, hold up, this person is pretty, pretty fucked. Dude, because I did something bad in the past and I would like to forget about it. Yeah, people just want to move on from the, from the past. But, again... Why? Just like, but now let's go back to the whole thing of YouTube, like my ecosystem, basically the thing I just want to talk about. All right. Again, the title says that I might got quick, but still, in the near future, I might quit. Yes. For what reasons? I don't know yet. Because again, YouTube for itself, it's boring. It's pretty boring. It's really boring. As a you know, again, going back to the first thing, as a content creator, you have to need a hundred you have you need to have your, your heart and soul into YouTube. Trust me, there's a lot of YouTubers who you know who gives their life, their soul and their fucking heart on this and they make good videos. But there's some of them who doesn't even try and still make it. Am I wanna who am I? Personally, I'm one of those people who doesn't give simply guess and give a fuck about YouTube. If my channel takes down, I don't really give a fuck. Again, I just do I just do my YouTube channel because I want to have fun. I want to have fun in the site and everything. Those games. And do I care if my channel gets terminated? First off, if my channel gets terminated, then. I don't really care. Again, I'm doing my YouTube thing, YouTube videos, but for fun. If my YouTube channel gets deleted or something, it's deleted. I'm not making a second channel. I'm not saying that I'm coming back. Because again, what's the point of making the channel if, you know, later people, YouTube will go after you? Again, it's the let's talk about the situation with Leafy. Leafy, leave. 
uh, Leafy got his channel terminated because YouTube didn't send any warnings of his YouTube channel. Is it fucked? Yes, it's fucked. Why many reasons? Number one, because. Like, because. YouTube didn't send him anything. And what the fuck? It's just like, what the fuck? And again, alright. And if what's gonna happen to my channel? No. This person got the YouTube. Okay, first of all, alright, let me just stop on topic. This person has Yandere on their on the rank. Shout out. <coughs> Shout out. But anyways. Like I really I don't know anymore. YouTube is gonna get fucked? But, as a YouTuber, as many content creators, you will get burned down easily. And again, going back, YouTube is a site where, you know, you can make videos and go have fun. But, 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 but hold on, sorry, I forgot what I was saying. But, a lot of time, it's boring. It's pretty, pretty boring. This is why I'm I'm scared to start my channel because of the drama of stuff along with people just seeing content and getting terminated of doing something like I like it to do. Same here. And like. I'm just gonna give you a quick context real, real quick. As you guys know, there's this guy on YouTube called Cool Dude. I forgot his name real quick. Hold up a second. Let me just look for him. Oh, wait a minute. What was his name? This guy's name. Cool Dude 951. If you don't know him, then he was uh, he's a content creator on YouTube here with us. And he got he um And here's the problem. This guy ter terminated because here's the reason, and you know, it makes me rethink. Why don't you delete YouTube for a while? Unpleasant experience overall. People hate for no reason other than because you upload. And it's, it's actually true. Why do you hate? If you don't like it, of course you dislike it, but there's uh, gotta be a lot of people saying, I fucking hate this shit. Why you do this? Like, why? Bruh. Why? Why do you hate it? Why? People just hate BS for no reason. Like, what? Explain me. Please. I want to know. Give me my... I, I want to know. I really want to know. Why are you red? I'm red. Leave me alone. And... Again. Why people hate? Why people hate? I want to know the answer. I want to know the answer for everything. Why people hate for no reason for a video you upload. For a video that you want to do, people will hate eventually. I don't know if it's because, you know, because it's bo getting boring or getting older because I feel like it. I want to know the answer. The true an the answer. People, sure, people can be... Yeah, I really want to know. And again, do I, do I even care about dislikes? It's fucked. You're, and I'm going to be right now 100% clear. YouTube subscribers, you say, you know, most of you saying what subscribers? You gotta say people who are like your content, people who are, you know, love it. In my perspective, it's just people who just, you know, I'm one of those people who just thinks that that your channel, that people subscribe because they like it. But again, subscribers is just a number itself. It's just a number that grows when people likes your content more and more and bigger and bigger. And again, my, if my channel gets deleted, if I got 10k, alright, fair enough. I didn't really, again, I really don't care about my channel getting terminated. Sure, if people, a lot of people want me to come back, then I guess I can come back, but it's, but in my perspective, no. I'm really not doing it. No, I'm not. Because again, YouTube itself is broken. It's no fun. 
It's boring. It'll burn out. 2021 will be good? No. It fucking won't be. Right, so to sum up everything and stop this, YouTube, it's fucked. Twitter, it's toxic. Micro community itself will be going downhill with a lot of POs and a lot of controversy. What else? Same, okay, one more time. I'm gonna fucking, you know, I'm going to ban you, motherfucker. Alright, I heard a ban. Fuck you then. I warn you, bitch. Is 2021 gotta be the best year? No. It's gotta be 2020. I even said this. I even said this. On the Discord server, on one Discord server. Hold up. Let me just look for the chat. Let me just watch this. Hold up a second. Let me just look for it. I said this on this channel. And this, you not gotta change my fucking mind. Change it and I will give you a fucking applause. Round of applause. But change... But here, hold on. Let me just look for the thing real quick. There we go. I said this in a meme, but still. I said this. 2021 is 2020 in disguise. Change my mind. Change it. I want you to change my fucking mind What 2021. It's not 2021. It's not fucking 2020. Please. I'll give you a round of applause if you fucking do it. Please. I'll fucking praise you if you fucking tell me why 2021 it's not going to be the best year. Gimme. Gimme. I don't care what it is. Tell me the reason why 2021 is going to be better than 2020. And I will fucking love you for the entire of my life. Please. 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 Anybody. I don't care who it is. Tell me. Give me a reason why 2021 is going to be the same. It's got to be the best year. Or at least decent. Please. Please tell me what the fuck. Please. Anything. I will fucking love you if you do. Give me a, give me one simple answer. That's right. Nothing. Because again, 2021, bullshit. YouTube, bullshit. Twitter, toxic. The micro community, going downhill because of pedophile. What else? Burnout, it will be the same. And, but again, just to finish up, again, I even know as I wrap this up, I'm just getting my, my thing right now. Am I going to quit? Probably. Because again, I'm still... You can't deny... I said this a long time myself. YouTube for me right now, it's no fun. It's no funny. I'm not going to quit like right now. But if I have to do it, I have the chance. I will probably will. Because again, I talk this a lot. YouTube is boring. YouTube is not fun anymore. There's not a lot of things to do in YouTube. It's YouTube will self your will self uh, self you burn down. You will have no ideas. And in all fairness, it's just you know just overall toxic. YouTube and Twitter are the same toxicity. If there's a fucking you can go get away if you have a problem in the past. People will go and look into it. This is obviously, obviously, this is called cancel culture. And again, you can have no, the internet itself. It's not private. Even if you say that it's private, it's not, motherfucker. It is not. People will figure out shit in the past. And when this comes, people will go on Twitter talk shit about you, and then lot of, how much a Keemstar and those motherfuckers gotta be saying, "Oh my God, this person is a pedophile." How much? Well, this is the end for the this live stream. Probably gonna live stream. I don't know when, but I'm just gonna show you that role plays are coming back. Finia, Finance of Freddy's, like Finia, it's coming up. I don't know when. Um, the y Yander Town will come out soon. I just need to finish the map. But you know what, since a lot of you will fucking want to know what the hell is, how's the map, I um, guess I can give you a quick heads up, like, how's the map looking real quick. The map itself, I still need to, you know, add more details, like the things burning, whatever. But, and yes, I had to reveal this, I might fucking do a live stream playing 
fucking or you know so again first off Venia I don't know what's coming out but I'm doing I'm just right there still the night four is not even unedited but still it's there the Undertown will come out as soon as I finish the map and probably I will make a fucking video playing the remastered of the Final anime and yes you heard me right the remaster there's a remastered I'm gonna play that shit I'm gonna make probably make a video about it but it's a demo so yeah I know it's you I know it's you but yeah for context here's the map hold up a second let me just make this bigger and let me just show you real quick uh right there as you guys have promised, right there. This is a map of Yandere Town. And you're probably thinking, what the f why, why are you remaking it? I lost the original map. I, I completely lost the original map, so this is like a, another remake. So, as you can see, I still have to, a lot to explore, a lot to add, etc. So, I just need to finish. But yeah, this is how much I'm doing. Yeah. But yeah, yet again. Yet again. I'm not. Don't assure me or don't say that, you know, I'm going to be back on YouTube because, again, I. I really, again, I'm not a person who does YouTube for, for money. I just do it for when I'm bored. So. What happened to the cuz? School? Again! I'm not saying spoilers, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this stream. There's got a lot of streams talking about this scenario. There's a lot of them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. And I guess I'll see you soon. As soon as I upload, I don't know, the roleplay or the fucking master. I don't know where I'm going to see. But yeah, that's all for today. And I will guys see you soon.